Good morning, everyone. Pete Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to another edition of Classic Live Album War. We are hot and heavy in round two. We've got two combatants here who plowed through round one, made it to round two, and now they're facing each other. These are two very good examples of a very young band entering their prime. Okay, both of these live albums, raw, primal, in your face, heavy, raucous. Okay, just kind of announcing to the world that we're here to take no prisoners, right? And both albums go for the jugular. Both released a few years apart. So we got 1970 and 1978. Okay, so we've got The Who live at Leeds. I've got the deluxe edition. I'm going to talk a little bit about that. And then you've got ACDC. If you want blood, you've got it. Look at that album cover, huh? So let's talk about the first one, okay, which is obviously live at Leeds, released in May of 1970, recorded in February of 1970 at Leeds, University of Leeds in Leeds, UK, all right? Again, back in those days, record a concert, release it on an album a month or two or three later. Not uncommon at all, right? So, of course, this originally released as a single LP, both of these actually. Uh, the single LP here, powerful in its own right, but missing like so much good tracks and a bunch of covers, right? So you had uh, Young Man Blues, all right, obviously a uh, cover song, great version, heavy blues rock here from the band. Pete Townsend, original substitute. You had a cover of Summertime Blues, which was probably the most well-known song from this for many, many years. And then you had another cover tune, Shaking All Over. A amazing rendition of that song. And then over on side two, you had a lengthy version of My Generation, with all sorts of jamming and stuff, and then a Magic Bus. So that was it. Okay, roughly, I don't know, 30, 36, 37 minutes. Kind of light, right? Kind of light. Thankfully, with the deluxe edition, we get the full Leeds University concert for the first time ever, which contains some absolute gems. So you got Heaven and Hell, the Entwistle original that never made it onto any studio album, okay? But a song they played live, a great one. Uh, I can't explain. Fortune Teller, a great fortune teller, Tattoo. Awesome Tattoo, Young Man Blues, Substitute, Happy Jack, I'm a Boy, I'm a Boy, A Quick One While He's Away, which is awesome on here, uh, Summertime Blues, Shaking All Over My Generation, Magic Bus, that's disc one, okay? Disc two has probably, what, 75, 80% of the Tommy album played live that, that evening, okay? The regular, original live release, None of the Tommy stuff on there, okay? So here you got, you know, Overture, It's a Boy, 1921, Amazing Journey, Sparks, I Side of the Blind, Christmas, The Acid Queen, Pinball Wizard, Do You Think It's All Right, Fiddle About, Fiddle About, Tommy, Can You Hear Me, There's a Doctor, Go to the Mirror, Boy, Dun, 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 Smash the Mirror, Miracle Cure, Sally Simpson, I'm Free, Tommy's Holiday Camp, and of course, a lengthy We're Not Gonna Take It. Uh brilliant brilliant rendition of the tommy long medley there okay it's not fully complete but it's pretty close to it uh if you have had a chance thanks to a bunch of viewers who pointed out that it was available if you get the uh the live at hull release which came out a few years back okay basically i think it was performed <clears throat> was it night after this the night before this I don't know, it was that same week uh just as good as this all right you might arguably even say it's better uh, also, the Live at the Isle of Wight Festival release basically has a very similar set list, also fantastic. Similar set list played at Woodstock. So you got right there, you got four really good live concerts recorded from The Who right around that time period that just show the primal, raw power of The Who at this time. Daltrey, Townsend, Entwistle, Moon. Doesn't get much better. Doesn't get much better. The Who, uh, arguably the Who at their peak, okay, from 69 probably to what, 74, 75, all right, so right up through uh, Quadrophenia. That's prime Who right there. And this is uh, 
This is a fantastic live album, one of the best of all time, I think. And while I love the original LP release, I mean, come on, this deluxe edition, this is killer. Killer, killer, killer. All right, so now let's pop ahead to 1978. So you got this young, brash Australian band called ACDC putting out this If You Want Blood, You've Got It album. Okay, recorded at the Apollo Theater in Glasgow, Scotland. All right, April 1978, uh, released in uh, all parts of the world that fall. So again, just a couple months later. All right, so here you have the classic lineup of Bon Scott, Angus Young, Malcolm Young, Cliff Williams, Phil Rudd. All right, another one of those live albums. Like, why was this just a single? Okay, because you know they played a lot more that night, or you know, when actually, yeah, that night. Um, and yet only 10, 10 tracks, but 10 potent tracks. All right. Riff Raff kicks it all off. Great tune. One of my favorite ACDC songs of all time from the great Power Age album. Hell Ain't a Bad Place to Be from Let There Be Rock. Bad Boy Boogie. The Jack. All right. They're kind of like slow, bluesy, grinding tune that always sat in their set list back, back in the day. A Killer Problem Child. All right. That ends off the first side of the LP. Then on side two, you got a frantic whole lot of Rosie. Rock and roll damnation. Majestic hard rocker from the band. High voltage. High voltage. Rock and roll, absolutely. Let There Be Rock. Title track from the album of the same name. And then finishing it all off with Rocker. Okay. Killer album production on this is uh, both of these actually just really raw and in your face all right arguably well not arguably this one's definitely got the best album cover i can imagine what uh record stores and what have you were thinking of it back in the day right probably a little tame now compared to what we've seen uh in more recent years but uh a great live album of a band just getting ready to start peaking big time right and of course and just uh a few short years later, Bon Scott would be with us no longer. Brian Johnson comes into the band. They get bigger than ever. So kind of the way it goes, right, in rock and roll. Kind of the way it goes. So we get to that part of the episode where we've got to make a choice here. Okay? So, you know, obviously we're going to get people saying, well, Pete, what are you actually comparing the original Who Live at Leeds or the Deluxe? It's up to you, right? I mean, I've had this now for many, many years. So for me, this has been live at Leeds for a long time. I mean, even even with the single disc, single LP version of Live at Leeds, still a damn killer, potent live album. You know, even though the majority of those tunes were covers, but man, were they great covers. Fucking great, right? Uh, but here in its deluxe edition, which is kind of what I've been discussing... Uh, hard to beat this, as great as this is. So for me, this is a unanimous decision for The Who. Okay, there's your, there's my winner here. Um, for me, ACDC is going to live to fight another day, but man, nothing to be ashamed about here because these are both great. There's no right or wrong picks here, right? It's just kind of what we prefer, right? And while I love ACDC and I love this album, uh, I've got a lot more history with this one. And this, to me, is just a band that I love in their absolute prime right just killer one of the heaviest live albums of that time period just raging thrashing who all right some have called this like the precursor to punk i mean hey whatever right but uh this gets my vote unanimous decision 116 114 115 112 117 11 the winner for me that i think will go on to round two is the who but Oddly enough, on our Facebook poll, which went live this morning, ACDC's out in front. It's pretty close, though. It's pretty close, but ACDC jumped out in front. The Who are catching up. We'll see how that goes there. Remember to vote here. Okay, so you got the little white circle with a letter I in it. If you don't see it, hover your mouse, your cursor over that. It'll pop, it'll pop up there. Vote for ACDC. Vote for The Who. At the end of six days, I stopped counting the votes on both here on YouTube and on the Facebook page. 
the winner goes on to round three, right? Because the ultimate goal is to find out what your favorite live album of all time is, right? That's kind of the kind of what we're doing here in this fun little tournament. So we've got a lot of great contestants in round two who beat their combatants in round one and round two. We're going to do this for about the next two weeks, and then we're going to get ready to move on to round three. So we're going to take all of our winners. The new bracket begins. We hopefully, hopefully should be wrapping this whole thing up right around the holidays or shortly thereafter the new year. It's going to kind of see how it lays out. Okay, you know, it's kind of tough around the holidays, but the good thing is uh, I'm going to be off a bit in the latter part of December, you know, taking some vacation time around the holidays. So I can probably start doing like, you know, three or four of these a day to kind of get them all, you know, done by the end of the year. So that at the beginning of the year, we basically tally up, have the final one and boom. How cool would it be if we could do the final two going head to head on like New Year's Eve or New Year's Day. That would be awesome if we could do it. I'm not sure if we can quite, you know, squeeze it all in because we've only got, you know, we've got uh, most of November left and then December. So probably can do it. We'll see how it goes. That would be ideal. This way we can kick off 2020, moving on to some other stuff. This has been fun, but it'll, you know, by the time this tournament's done, we can kind of move on to other, you know, I got a lot of other top 10 song shows I want to do, rants. I got all sorts of things I'm cooking, different uh, show ideas. Got to get to that album cover show that I've been talking about forever. And there's, there's all history of shows. So I want to, I'm going to start focusing more on that type of stuff once we get this tournament out of the way. Okay, but this has been fun because I really enjoyed this because I love live albums. I know a lot of you do. So visit us on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, of course, we're here on YouTube all the damn time. Stay tuned for another classic live album war coming up later today. I've also got top 10 songs from Queensryche coming up next. So you don't want to miss that one. Stay tuned. See you again. Bye bye.